just follow this road. That's all I gotta do. Oh my! Woo! Vehicle protection compromised. That is not... Oh no. Hey there, I'm Chaz Tacular, and welcome to Pacific Drive. Let's get going. Let's, let's get into it, as the kids say. It was a dark and stormy night, and all around the campfire. <laughs> well, here we are again with uh, the unnamed Car Wonder. Uh, please, if you have any name suggestions for her, just drop them down in the comments below. I suck at naming things. Uh, case in point, the stuffed bear that I carried around with me as a child was named Bear. So yeah, unless you want a car named Car, I need your help. So first of all, I would like to check... Status is perfect. Uh, it is bidding me visit the friendly dumpster. So let's see what he's got for me. Chemicals! Okay, thank you. Right, so let's go back into the zone. Let's look at what we got. Whoa. That's different. Extreme conditions. Yeah, I probably don't want to go there. Where do I want to go? So we've got G8, E7, E6, E4, and there are no stable exits for me 5 so I, I couldn't even go to E2 if I wanted to. And they're all just damp forest, right? What are the other... I mean, there's swamps, I think, later that I can get to. That looks like swamp land. Uh, because... See, so for the large backpack, I need swamp coral, which tells me that there's probably a swamp biome in the game. So the, uh, objective that I have right now is just to take a drive, so I guess I'll just take a drive. Okay, well, this one has perpetual stability. I'm kind of interested in just seeing what other kinds of, uh, junction conditions there are. So, I am gonna go try out Junction G8. Alright, to the zone! Let's do this. Driving off into the darkness with my trusty car named Car. Junction G8. Back roads. Remote. Damp forest. Outer zone. So, heavy fog is the junction condition. And it's night. Oh joy. It just says the thick low-lying fog in this part of the zone seems to never lift. Okay, so where do I want to go? Okay, so those are... art thingamajigs? I want all of those that I can get, so I'm gonna start here. Holy moly, holy moly, are you kidding me right now? Poppy, you saw it too, didn't you? Tell me you saw it too. I don't know what. what? Oh, what? what? Do you mean, what? Hallucinations! Like the ones from 1961! It happened again! Just a quick blip, like blinking oh, a- Oh, You didn't see it? I was in a total blackout. Colossal Cappy fried my systems. Right, because sending the driver headfirst into Cappy didn't work out like you said it would. Big surprise. Uh, you spare me, Francis. The driver's ooh. alive and your remnants verified. Ooh. Isn't that all you wanted? Now, oh, I can't use I that while I'm using this. When Cappy amplified the remnant signal, it triggered another hallucination event. But it only lasted three seconds this time. And, and not only that, we picked up that its source was northwest of us. Specifically, yeah, somewhere in the deep zone. <sighs> That's impossible. It's been 40 years. What are they talking about? It's been 40 years since what now? Oh, nope. Wait, did he just... That little... What in the world? He stole... You stole... My road flare! I do not appreciate that, Mr. Abducker! No! 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 You don't get to just take my road flare! What are you doing?! And that's not all. This hallucination wave that triggered, we picked up its waveform. And it turns out it's equal and opposite to the remnant's waveform. They're paired signals. Oh, so now you're just bringing it back. And, and, and once more, if we bring that car Wait. to whatever this mass hallucination source is, we have a chance of nullifying the remnant and breaking its bond with the driver. <sighs> a simple destructive interference. <laughs> this is insane! 
After all this time, we find a remnant, uh, a lead on the mass hallucinations of 61, and a possible way to free the driver? Thanks to me, Francis, because this is the best thing that's happened in decades. Just when things were getting dull. What are they talking about? The key to the mass hallucination. This whole time. Yes, and you nearly destroyed it. Stupid. I... I need to go. This is huge, Francis! We have so much work to do. I know, I've already pulled every report on the mass hallucination event. Uh, driver, listen, you stay safe out there. Okay. We'll report back to you once we've gone through all of this data. <laughs> There's a lot of it. And, 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 and be careful. Okay. Oh, not in a right mind, okay? So, uh, watch yourself. That's ominous. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping you all, uh, got that, because I have no idea what's going on. I was too distracted by that stupid abductor stealing all my road flares! Okay, so we got another big dance here. Why did I park so far away from the... Although I've got a pretty full tank. Yeah, I don't need to... I don't need to top off. Ooh, another friendly dumpster. Hello. There you go. Well, thank you much, Lee, for all of that. Oh, well, we got some power on in here, so that's nice. Ooh, a phone. Gimme. <laughs> I like my new tools. So I wonder how long this uh, relightable flare actually lasts. Oh, I can see it like going down a little bit. Not much to loot here. Ooh! Ooh, there's a side room! Neat! That's pretty neat! That wasn't a nice sound. What else do we got around here? Nothing on that side. Okay, normal dumpster. There we go. Cool. Got some steel sheets. I love the atmosphere in this game, but it's also, like, really creepy. Wow, look at those gas prices. Man. Okay, I gotta move on. Okay, so I think there was uh, an art thing nearby yeah let's uh go over there it looks like it's just off the road a little ways all right we're off-roading knocking down every tree in my path but that's how we roll pun not entirely intended what is that blue mist in the background Run, 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 run. There we go. Oh, hey, it's one of these things. What are you? Minutemen. And of course, we just have some sort of story about stuff. So what is that blue mist in the in the distance? I want to see what that is. Whoa. I have a feeling I shouldn't just drive into it. I'm also kind of curious, because, like, what if... Oh, I can't scan it. Oh. Sizzling mist. You're right, the, con the presence of concentrated plasma particles. That's a tongue twister. The presence of concentrated plasma particles is what makes the clouds so conductive. This isn't a storm like an electrical storm, like we'd expect to find in the skies above. And we do well to stamp out such colloquial descriptions. No, this is something else. Something much more intense, and yet also much more localized. I think with a little time, it'll be quite possible for us to replicate something of this behavior in a lab setting, budget permitting. God, isn't this exciting? Our research is finally paying off. We'll get tenure for this, for sure. Interesting. What is that over there in the background? Oh, it's one of these Numatube things. Pneumatic deposit box. That's what I meant. Okay, we got gray paint now. And light blue paint. Hey, hey, hey! Don't mind if I do. Uh, yeah, let's harvest these up. Yep. Hope I got it all. 
looks like it did. And I lost my scrapper. Cool. Where... Where's my car? 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 Here it is! Oh my gosh! Car, you scared me! Don't do that again. I guess in hindsight I could have just turned my flashlight on. But, you know, you live and you learn. Okay, let's uh, get me another scrapper. Right there. Thank you. So it looks like there's another... Oh no, I don't want to go near that stuff. That is, that is deadly. Okay, where was the... Aha! Here we are. Get these two lighthousings. And then suck it all up. And I don't think I can get into this box. Cool beans. Now are we are. Okay, so where do I want to go now? Uh, let's go give these buildings a look-see. That are over out that way. Uh, let's go back to the road this way. That's a noise. Yeah, so we're just gonna take a right at Big Dan's. And, uh... Continue on toward what looks like a rail track on the map? I don't know. Curbs! Okay, so this is, a uh, like an underpass? Or something? So I can't just... Aw. Oh. So I can't just take a right and go that way like I was hoping to. Well, this isn't creepy at all. I feel, uh, very invigorated, on the contrary. Okay, I'm gonna try off-roading it. This might be harder than I thought. Yep, nope. That's not gonna happen. Yep. Let's get back to the road. So I think the way to get up there... So, yeah, so it looks like in order to get up here, I would have to go back this way along that road, probably. Or I could just get over here. No, I'm in a valley, so I can't just go up that way. I did not put my car in park. What was that noise? It doesn't sound like a... Oh, is that a can opener? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a can opener. Okay, so... What do we got up here? Oh! Interesting. Oh! I charged my, uh... Oh! That's nice! I charged my battery and repaired my vehicle! Let's grab the fuel nozzle. Fill her up. Yes, sir. So it looks like there's... Okay, so that's the, the the fuel thing. So what is that? Let us go see. What is this structure out here in the middle of nowhere? Okay, so what do we got? We got a busted plasma generator. Huge crates. And a building that I cannot get up into. Oh, I can get up into it. Hello. Okay. This has a similar layout to that other place in, uh, in Sierra. What is this? It turns gear into the gas cylinder? So, so what are those pie charts? So last time I put a crowbar into one of these things, it didn't do what I anticipated it would. So does it need, like, a gear and a half? Or does it need, like, five plus three would be eight? Right? I'm, I'm bad at math. Anywho, uh, I can scrap you. I'm tempted to go make some gears to come up and do some uh, scientific experiments on this thing. Yeah, you know what? For science, I'm gonna go make some gears. I'm gonna make two gears. Okay, so I'm gonna take these gears up here. 
and we're gonna see what happens when I put them in. Okay, so I put in two gears and I got out two gears. But it looks like it's gear to gas cylinder. So like what what's going on there? And of course this is just a guy talking about how brilliant it is that they invented the thing. Okay, moving on with my life. And in there. Why does it honk every time I close the Cause literally every time. Like look look at this, look at this. Every time I close the back door, it honks. Does it do that when I close any door? No. Alright, moving over here now to the other arc device. Oh, another uh, pneumatic deposit box. Yeah. Not much. Alright, we'll just grab you right quick. Perfect. And we'll go to you next. Since the permanent effect here is fog and not perpetual stability, I could get hit by an instability storm at any point here, probably. Road work? Oh man, I hope I don't have to like stop and wait for a while until they wave me through. Oh hey, it's a bunny! Okay, you stupid bunny. Broken bunny. Is it pushing me away? Hold up. Am I being pushed away? What is happening right now? Get out of here. Oh no, I wasn't being pushed away. My car is rolling. Did that abductor just bring the bunny closer? Okay, let's get this, uh, let's get this car scrapped. Okay, I can't see a thing. I need to write a light a flare. And of course, the abductor decides to burp at me right as I put, put my flare down. Yep, and there goes the flare. Like the main thing I wanted that for was so that I could see when I was hand vacing. And there goes my handbag. Oh no, I need a tier two? The darn technology. Always trying to get the better of us. You dang tech. Get off my lawn. Get away from my car. I ain't doing this today. You hear me? You read me? Okay, I'm gonna skip that car because we got an instability storm that I just noticed. Okay, we gotta move fast. Are you in there? I'm gonna go hit up this little thing here. Yep. That did not sound good. Oh, hello, car. You and I are getting the heck out of Dodge. Okay, so it looks like the easiest thing to do here is probably going to be getting far enough away from this gateway that I'm close to so that I can activate it and then turn around and drive back because the other two gateways just got swallowed up by the storm. Okay, so I just have to get far enough away that it turns yellow. Then I can activate it and turn it around. Am I still... I'm still too close. What in the world? Was this here before? I don't remember the road being this blocked. Oh gosh, by the time I get back, the instability is going to be around it. Wait, is the radio on all of a sudden? Okay. Activate. Let's get this thing turned around. And this whole place is unstable now. Maybe, maybe, maybe I should just cut straight across. What's the worst that could happen? That wasn't as uh, quick and easy as I thought it was going to be. 
Oh my gosh, I do not want the red to get me. Yep, come on, come on. Just drive into the pillar of light, it's fine. Yeah! Come on! Get me there, get me there! Come on, Appy! I'm relying on you and you! I can't English! Woo! And I'm back. Oh, wow. I am back. Yes, sir. -y. I owe you an apology. What for? I screwed up. I nearly got you killed. Really? I used to calculate as easily as turning a screwdriver. They're foggy now. The numbers don't work themselves out like they used to. I haven't been myself for a long time, but I haven't <laughs> needed to be. It's been me and this cursed place I created and nothing else for decades. But now, knowing that whatever caused the mass hallucination is still out there, I need to know what it is and why the remnants are connected to it. Francis was right about the remnant and the mass hallucinations paired signals. If we can get them together, maybe they'll cancel each other out and you'll be free. It's a shaky theory at best, but it's the only lead we've got for now. You can do nothing and twiddle your thumbs until that remnant drives you mad. Or, if you're willing to work with me, I'll give you the best chance to survive this thing. Think it through. And fix up your car while you're doing it. Uh -huh. You'll need to for whatever you decide from here. So, either I can just let myself go mad or I can do whatever she tells me to do. Cool. have to give him a little bit of putty. Yeah, that one's good. That's on my mat. Yep, I think that's good. Go ahead and fill the tank up. Charge the battery up. Oh, what are you? Tinker station. Diagnose what seems to be the problem. Okay, interesting. So the horn is honked when the... Okay, so we've got every car door, any car door. Rear, left, rear, right, front, left, front, right. The trunk. Yeah, when the trunk closes. I have eight guesses remaining. Yeah, the horn is honked when the trunk closes. Yes. Bad guess. Zero out of four correct. Zero out of four correct? What? But it's like consistent. Okay. It seems to be... Just when the trunk is closed. Oh, it didn't do it that time. But then it did do it. And then it didn't do it. Huh. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, the screwed headlight is what I need to repair. Hold up, do I still have the putty or did it get, it get all used up? It did get all used up. And I can't make more because I don't have chemicals. Alright, what do you got for me, friendly dumpster? A junker steering wheel? Thank you. Bring cosmetic items back to the garage to equip them? Like, do I... what do I do here? How do I do this? Let me go back into my inventory. Put in detailing station to equip. Okay. 
Oh, okay, there it is. Aha. Uh -huh. So. Oh, wow. That is a junker wheel if I've ever seen one. <laughs> My goodness. Um, I think I kind of preferred it when it was a normal wheel, honestly. Can I uninstall it? Yeah, clear slot. Let's empty the trunk. Let's get all this stuff. So, where'd the trunk go? So, can I use you? Like, oh, ho, 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 ho. There we go. And then I can just select that and put them all in. Neat. That's pretty neat. I think I would like to see if I can get expanded lockers. Wow. Parts lockers. So this looks like a tiered two investigator module. Is that like the Tinker Station? Yeah, this upgrade for the Tinker Station will report back to you which elements of a diagnosis are correct. That sounds very useful, actually, but I need a circuit board. Okay, so the summer tire has health of 175, a road rating of AA, and off-road and water rating of C. The off-road tire has a health of 250. The road rating is a B, but then the off-road rating is double A with water rating of A, so... I mean, to me, that sounds like a straight upgrade. But it's also one and a half K limb, which I only have 2.9 of. I can also get a side rack. That's half a K limb. No side storage. Guaranteed zone proof for at least 10 minutes. Oh, okay. So... But what does the limb pulse emitter do? This generator makes it extremely difficult for most organic and electro-organic entities to hold onto or harm the vehicle. So like the bunnies. That sounds like it could be useful. But that mobile workbench sounds really nice. This is a miniature workshop inside your car. You're now able to craft more complex items on the road. I mean... Yes, please, and thank you. Okay, but what do I actually want to upgrade? I'm kind of tempted to grab this. It just takes a circuit board. I can craft two circuit boards. Or make it one. Okay, so that takes one K limb of energy to get the investigator module. I'm kind of interested in the expansion racks, too. What does a lightning rod, lightning rod do? Capture electrical energy from lightning strikes and send it to your battery. Okay, but you need to unlock a side rack to do the lightning rod. So I'm wondering if I have the lightning rod and I drive through a like an electrical anomaly, would that recharge my battery instead of damaging my vehicle? But to unlock the side rack and the lightning rod would take 1k limb. I have 2.9. The off-road tire would be 1.5. The investigator module is 1. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the investigator module. Because it sounds like I've got some stuff, some like quirks going on with my car. And I'd like to be able to figure out what those are. Okay. okay so I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I swear that the, the horn is honking every time the trunk closes. I have seven guesses remaining. Well, at least this time I'll be able to figure out if any of the parts are correct. Bad guess. Four, zero out of four correct. I can use half a K limb to investigate. Okay, so here, here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna unlock a side rack. Okay. Rear left and front left. Okay, interesting. I'll just throw this on the rear left, I guess. So now I've got a side rack. So we're gonna go with the lightning rod. Yeah. 
and I can't make it because I don't have electronics. Okay, and then I will spend some more of this KLM trying to figure out what the crap is going on with this thing. Yeah. Oh! That's dumb. That's dumb. When the trunk is closed, the horn honks. Are you kidding me? Okay, I guess the way that I was doing it before, it's it when I honk the horn, then the trunk closes. But this way, it's when the trunk closes, then the horn honks. Yep. Yep. Okay, so what's the fix? Here's what you'll need to fix it. An, electri an electrician's kit? Okay, can I make an electrician's kit? Is that, is that like a thing? Not a thing that I have unlocked. So my driver's checklist says to tend my wounds. To repair the car and to pack survival tools. Bring cosmetic items back to the garage to equip them. Wait, do I have to equip this in order for it to... No, it's still not... What? Okay, so I want me to go to the dumpster to see what I can find. Give me another scrapper. Thanks. Wants me to use the fixed screen at the tinker station to remove quartz. Okay, so how do I... Missing ingredients. Okay, yeah, here it is. So, I have to get the light replacement kit, and then I can get the electrician's kit. Okay, so was that the only quirk that I had? Or do I have more quirks? Oh, and it wants me to pack a repair putty for the road, but I don't... I can't. I need chemicals. Okay, well, I don't think there's really anything I can do here. If you're ready to do this with me, here's a spot of good news. We aren't completely helpless when it comes to the instability. Back when the zone was active, we built ways to get where we needed to go. I need you to head back towards Sierra. But don't worry, I won't make you jump into Cappy again. When you're feeling up for it, take the route back to Sierra. I'll tell you what's next once you're there. Okay, but I have to go through Junction E5. So if I'm gonna do this, I'm not gonna stick around in, in E5. I'm just gonna go through it. Let's do this. So hopefully it'll be daylight when I get there. This we'll see. Hey, okay, Junction E5. Okay, extreme conditions. Touch and go, intense radiation, and swift storm. Okay, what is, uh, okay. Touch and go. This part is full of anomalies known for suddenly accelerating vehicles. And hot dust. Okay. Yep, we are just gonna get through here. We're not gonna stop around oh, and... Oh, and about those anomalies. I don't recommend mm -hmm. you spend much time around them. Unless you've got a death wish, in which case, be my guest. When we're all dead and gone, and limb technology, but a footnote in the history books, the anomalies will remain. They're the legacy of our work here, and the Olympic Peninsula belongs to them now. Woohoo! This place is intense! Why did I just spin out of control? Nope. Nope, nope. Okay, so I've changed my mind. I'm gonna try to get the two arc devices. But that's the only thing I'm sticking around in this zone to, to try and retrieve. So it looks like a, there's like a little valley here. Woo! There we go. <laughs> Okay. Where is it? Shouldn't be too far away. Okay, I think I see it. Uh huh. Don't mind me. I 
Okay, move fast. Move like the wind, bullseye. Okay, so now we're gonna go uh, toward this one. Fun. Storm warning. Oh my goodness, my car does not like this. Wait, is there a bunny? Frick, I have a bunny. The dust bunny? Get out of here. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna keep moving. We're just gonna keep moving. Come on. All I have to do is make it to this arc reactor, put it in my car, get on the road, and head north. And of course, it's up a freaking hill. Well, hopefully I can just drive straight up it. Come on, you got it. You got this. You got this. You don't got this. Crap. How am I supposed to get up there? I've got a storm, like actively moving in on us. At least my tires look okay. Okay, okay. Come on, come on. Just a little bit further. Just a little bit more. You can do it. You can do it. There we go. There we go. Okay. Perfect. I don't know why I'm looking down that way as if there might be a car coming. Hello. Don't mind me. Nope! Nope! Woo! <laughs> oh man. Let's get out of here. Yep. Just follow this road. That's all I gotta do. Oh my! Woo! Vehicle protection compromised. That is not. Oh no. What? What? How do I? How do I? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, come on, grab this. Let's put you back on the... Back on there. Just let's hop in and get out of here. Come on, come on, we're, we're almost there. Just keep going. And we're almost there. All right, get me the heck out of here. Jump Jenny one, serum. That was spicy. There's a whole lot standing wow. between where we are and the deep zone. Like another wall and the entire mid zone for starters. It's not as simple as driving there can't control the instability any more than we can control the weather. At the height of Lim R&D, thousands of us lived and worked here in the zone. So we built Lim stabilizers to make certain sectors and roads a little more predictable than others. Okay. The only way we could operate as a live research compound despite the instability. Uh -huh. and yes, the same technology that destabilized the landscape in the first place. Lim technology was always a double-edged sword from the beginning. We're going to put those stabilizers to work and clear you a path. The old observation towers surrounding Sierra Morda have a map of the stabilizers in that sector. Mind swinging by and finding one? Finding, finding a what? Find the observation tower overlooking Sierra. Yeah, Lee, I gotta be careful with this thing. Okay, so I'm gonna just spend some time looting and collecting materials so that I can hopefully start repairing the car. And uh, since you've seen this kind of stuff before, I'll just bring you back whenever something interesting happens. A few moments later. Okay, I'm bringing you back now because I want to scan this thing. The shaker. So it just throws you up into the air, I guess. 
Okay, well, going back to looting. Okay, so I managed to find some chemicals. So I'm going to make some repair putty. Okay, what needs it the most? Okay, so it looks like the, the hood, the left front panel, and all of the doors need it the most. So I'm going to prioritize those. And the hood, this panel here. Oh, this headlight's totally just gone. I need an electrician's kit to fix it fully. Yeah, this one looks like it has a broken window. It needs a ceiling kit. Okay. Dang it. Can I craft a ceiling kit? Yeah. That's not too, that's not very expensive. So I'll use a ceiling kit on this window. Okay, cool. Very cool. Okay, so next time I get repair putty. Why is What the heck? Why is the car twitching? You know what? I'm just going to remove that. I don't need it there if it's gonna be doing that to me. So we'll throw this in here for now. Yeah, so I'm gonna grab this arc device and then head over to this group of huts. Um, because I think that would be... Probably would have more chemicals. And I need all the repair buddy I can get. Grab this. And let's head over to these huts down here. Launch and construction facility ahead. Yeah, I might just drive through this fence. Alright. Looting spree. Whoa. That's creepy. Okay, I want to see what's going on here. It's got some radiation. Okay, some more chemicals. Good, good. Okay. Get away from that. Oh, this whole area is irradiated. Dagnabbit. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Oh, gosh. Look, I'm just gonna stick it out. Okay, my health is dropping fast. Okay, transmuter. We got more chemicals in here? Okay, a little bit. Get back to the car! I'm gonna grab the med kits and the flashlight. Woo! That was exciting. That was ex <laughs> Man. Okay. My car does not like hanging out here, so... I need more chemicals, though. I need more chemicals. Oh, it went away. Okay, good, good, good. More chemicals! Ooh, a flare gun! Okay, I'll take that. Okay, I got one more to look at. Okay, I got everything out of those. Um, okay, so we got another group of these right over here. Yeah, it might be a good idea for me to go ahead and make some repair buddy now. Yeah, this needs it. And that really needs it. Get some on that steel panel. And these doors are pretty okay for the most part. That's good for now. Get on to the next group of huts. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, looking better, looking better. Cool, so from here... Well, I'd like to go... So that's my ultimate objective. So I think I would like to go here next. Should not have done that. Should not have done that. A few inches later. Oh, here we go. Oh my. Yep. Yep. All in a day. All in a day. So I'm kind of curious as to what that is, but I don't want to get too close because of because of the abductor. Wow, this is like an actual barn. Huh. Oh, nice. Plenty of food. Okay, I can't get inside, unfortunately. There's also this car here. Oh, no! Nope, let me go. Wait, he took my scrapper! He can take my scrapper right out of my hand? What? That's not cool! So it's almost like he's guarding this car. Nope. 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 I think he's listening to me now. Nope. Oh, I think he was taking some of the scraps away. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Get me away from here. Some tiny little backpack. Yeah, so it looks like uh, most of these houses are sealed. Need a guide? No place is safe. TNT tourist. Arda's fault. There she is. All right. I'd say that that was a fairly good run right there. Oh, no. I do not want to approach a left or right. What in the world? I don't think he was standing there a second ago. Oops. No! Stop it! Okay. Yep. Goodbye. I'm getting out of here. Okay, so next I want to go to that arc and then I'll go up there. I gotta get across. Oh, big dance. Uh, yeah, I'll get the arc thing and then I'll come back. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna put it right there. Grab a hold of this. the car. Let's get the crap out of here. What just happened? Oh my gosh. That was not there when I parked. Whoa! Okay. And now you're gonna grab me? Okay, take me for a spin! Frick!
What is your problem, man? I wonder how far this, uh... What? Thermo crystals? Thermo sap crystal. Okay. Here's a pneumatic deposit box. Okay, so where's the, uh... What in the world? Well, uh, looks like I'm not going to be able to refuel my car here. So that's... That is what it is. What is that? A dumpster pearl? Fascinating. And I don't have room for it in my trunk. Okay, I should probably use some repair putty while I'm here. That seems like a relatively safe spot. Uh, make some more. Okay. That's where we're headed now. Oh, looks like we had some fog roll in. Actually, it looks like it's pretty up high. Or pretty high up. Yeah, so I might have to go around the long way. Okay, taking a left. Yeah, it's on these perpetual stability runs that I think it would be really nice to have extra storage on my vehicle. Okay, so I want to go up there. I think well, continuing to follow this road is probably the best bet. Take a left here. The towers are locked up tight. But you could tighten up security protocols all day only for one disgruntled employee to program in his name for fun and mess it all up. Anyway, the overload code is 4735. Find that stabilizer map and scan it for me. Okay. Uh, oh boy. I was assigned to clean these towers out every time the guards rotated. Some the things I saw. Let's just say that keeping a watch on Sierra day in and day out did not make for a good time. I didn't envy those guards one bit. Huh. Okay. Well, so far this is looking like a pretty normal tower, I guess. Ah, the stabilizer map. I got it. I'm overlaying the map with the available routes near you. Okay, sweet. There you go. Found three sector stabilizers that'll do the job. They're not too far, so I've added the location to your route. The access road will lead you straight there once you're ready. Okay. Wait, so I'm not going straight home after this one? Okay, so this one is duct tape to a 9 volt battery. I don't know what you want! Okay, here. I probably got plenty of duct tape. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time. Okay, I got 20 duct tape right here. Surely that'll be more than enough. Alright, let's see what happens when I put 20 duct tape in here. Okay, fascinating. Okay, so it took 11 duct tape and gave me two 9 volts. And now it's raining crude doors, apparently. Where did those come from? What? Where did those come from? And one of the notches on there went away. Okay, well, I'm just gonna grab you and take you downstairs because why the crap not? Hello, I don't remember you being here before Strange I mean, hey, I've seen stranger things Okay, yeah, now it wants me to go out that way Okay, so I'll probably go back down this road and then go around that way. Cool. What is that? What is that? Can I scan it? Okay. 
Okay. That might be the genuinely most scary thing that I've seen in this game so far. And in broad daylight, no less. Oh, Tobias did mention a Sasquatch incident earlier. And that kind of looked like the, the famous blurry picture of Sasquatch. Golly, but the way it moved, like, that literally sent chills up my spine. <laughs> I'm not, not even joking around. Okay, I, I will, I will go see if there's any chemicals in here. Because chemicals be important. Nope. Wait, did I? I've already looted that place before. Why didn't you tell me? Huh? Yeah, because I think it came in through there. Now I want to go down that way. Okay. So just head south along this road. Oh, what the heck? I don't remember this plasma generator being here the last time I came by. No, I, I literally drove right through here and this was not here before. Huh. Oh man, I wish I, I really wish I had those all-terrain tires. Oh gosh. What the heck? The radio just came on again. Okay, I'm about to get out of Sierra. So what awaits me on the other side of this junction? Okay. Junction F1 stabilizer. Huh. Okay. Artisite, blistering woods. The woods there can be a bit of a maze. If you get lost, follow the pipes. The limb tech and those stabilizers ran so damn hot, only more limb tech could contain it from complete meltdown. What is that? Keeps disappearing. You know, that's a minute, man. What is that? It's my turn to give you an explanation. Crackling crawler. About the mass hallucination event that Tobias and Francis were going on about. Okay. But don't worry, I won't be nearly as long winded. Because there honestly isn't much that we know about it. It happened on the morning of September 14th, 1961. My colleague, Dr. James Kay, was conducting experiments at a highly classified site in the deep zone. He was assisted by my husband, Dr. Alan Turner. At 0400, their experiment unleashed a gamma ray surge that instantly killed both of them. Oh, wow. The surge was an impossible amount of energy, orders of magnitude greater than any mad mage source. It also triggered hallucinations in anyone awake within a 10 mile radius. Huh. It was a burst of widespread insanity, but only for a short moment. Yeah, I don't have enough storage space to hold a whole lot more. So. And I've also been at this for a while now. And I think I can only save when I'm back at the base. I don't like that. Spike puddle. Ugh. Okay, so as I was saying, I think I can only save when I'm back at the garage and I've been at this for a while. What are those noises? Oh crap, I have a flat tire. So I, I think I just want to like get out of here and move on. Yeah, that is flat. Okay, let's get a ceiling kit. There we go. Yeah, for a second there I thought there was some sort of rock monster in the distance. So yeah, so I'll just grab the objectives and I'll head back to the garage. And then we'll call it a day. I think this is it. Oh gosh! No! Oof. 
cool beans. Okay, what do I gotta do here? Uh huh. You know, thirty seconds of hallucinations. Sure didn't feel short when I was free falling to outer space. Heck of a ride, though. Did you know the rings of sand sing? I saw disembodied arms. Tons of them. They were grasping and crawling. And, uh, and uh, what about you, Oppie? What did you see? I saw nothing. How is that possible? Everybody else saw something. Must have passed me by. I don't know what to tell you. But were you working in your lab that night? And weren't you supposed to be doing your research rather than keeping track of my whereabouts? <laughs> okay. Wow. Touchy. How much of that can I store? All of it, apparently. Nice. Okay, so I want to follow this road. Down to there. And then down to there. Or I could just stop road it. Down the hill. Yeah, you know what? You only live once. Now that we know the remnants were connected to the mass hallucination, maybe we can figure out what caused it. Oh boy, oh boy, do I have theories. Don't start. Dr. K and Alan clearly uncovered some new way of using Lynn to motivate that gamma ray burst. Oh, yes, precisely. Where did gamma rays come from? But like outer space. Feedback on planet Earth, kid. There are plenty of terrestrial sources of gamma rays. Thunderstorms, for example. No, 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 no. You said it yourself. The energy levels from that night are much greater than anything we've seen on Earth. Sure, but going straight to aliens when there's countless perfectly scientific possibilities. Perhaps Dr. K and Alan developed a limb-assisted mass particle collision. Or, heck, tapped into some sort of gamma ray reservoir. A reservoir? Or a portal? A portal? <laughs> to where exactly? To Atlantis! <laughs> of course! Now why didn't I think of that? Oh, That's bias. absolutely it! Okay, looks like I'm approaching the next one. So I get in here and uh, get that activated. Hey, Oppie, you've never cared about any of the zone stories and superstitions. So, why now? What's in this for you? What I do is not and has never been any of your business. You're asking us to trust you, so yes. It's our business now. How about this? You two sign off, count orbs, or whatever it is you like to do, and I'll get the driver to the mass hallucination source myself. Excuse me? No, 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 no. Tobias found this written. This is his discovery. Sure. And I'll send you a nice gift basket to mark the occasion. But I won't let anyone interfere with this. Hmm. So, Oppie's a little power that, hungry. We either throw everything we can at this thing, or we lose this chance, and the answers to the mass hallucination are gone forever. This isn't like one of your little Sasquatch hunts. I'm not letting you get your tinfoil pseudoscience anywhere near this. This is too damn important to me. It sure didn't seem too important earlier, when you messed up and nearly killed the driver. You wanna play that game? You really wanna talk about our track records? Screw you, Oppie. I'd rather Whoa. run this remnant into the ground than work with either of you. Oh, forget it. We're wasting our breath with this old man. There's got to be another way. She's out of her mind. I can't do this. I... Look. Can I see something? If you want to waste your precious time picking apart bird droppings and squinting at constellations, by all means, follow their lead. But we're better off without them. Trust me. I'll get you through no matter what. Fuel barrel. This really is my last chance. How am I doing? Oh man, I should probably hold up. Grab that fuel can. Yeah, so interesting stuff going on with the uh, with the three scientists. Oh, that's not much fuel at all. Golly, I've siphoned more fuel out of a car before. Okay, whatever. Let's go through. Okay, that was stupid. I don't know why I did that. 
Yeah, I don't think there's any way I can go straight up there. That looks like a pretty big hill. Uh, maybe? No, that's not gonna work. Okay. Ooh! Ooh! Dang! Okay! Good night! Yeah, yeah, I wanna head down this road, but in the meantime... Let's repair this thing. Not gonna have enough chemicals to make more repair, buddy, when I get back home. I think I've got one more in me. Let's put it right there. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try to cut across. Okay. Look at that, I made it. Ish. Where's the road? There's the road. I made it! Should be a straight shot from here. No, I don't even know if the wipers are necessary, because the rain doesn't really mess up your vision like it would in real life. Okay, here we are. Let's get this done, son. Stability in your region is tanking. Get out of there. Fast. Oh boy. Whoa. Here we go. Oh gosh. Yep. Okay, go, 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 go. Come on, your little car who could. Let's do this. I hope that, uh, that weird spot on the road is just a bridge and not... Okay, good. It's a tunnel. Woo! Okay. Let's do this. Come on, pick up that speed. I'm hearing boss music. Pick up that speed. Okay, I'm gonna have to... Take this turn here. I think. Oh gosh. Man, that is closing in. Now is not the time to stick to the road. Now is the time to get out of here. Come on. You can do it. Don't give up on me. You can do it. Come on, into the abyss. Alright, stabilizing the route and juiced up. Holy cow. That was insane. Nice work out there. The sector uh -huh. stabilizers are fully operational. You've got a straight shot toward the expansion wall. Okay. You may want to consider armoring up a bit. Once you cross that wall, the mid zone is another beast altogether. The mid zone crossing. I'm assuming that's uh, this this wall here. Wow. Okay. Well, I think we'll call it there for now. Man. Okay. So I guess next episode we'll fix up the car and head on into the mid zone, whatever that means. Yeah. If you like the video, please drop a like. Uh, please drop a comment. Please. I need a name for the car, or else it's just gonna be car for the rest of the playthrough. Please subscribe to stay tuned, ring that bell so that you don't miss an episode. Come back next time and we'll uh, keep it, keep it trucking or keep it carring, I guess. As always, thanks for watching.